Here, I'm going to show you how to add bleed and a cut line to a shape, a vector shape in Illustrator. And I'm also going to show you how to create the cut line color in Illustrator. So here we have a blue star and we want to send this to our printer so that we can cut it out and make a sticker out of it or make a heat transfer out of it or what have you. In the Roland set of family of printers, we have um, what's called a cut line, and it is a very specific set of parameters for Roland to understand that you want to cut something. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to select our shape. Then we're going to head up to object. We're going to go path, offset path, and that will give us some bleed. And you can see that if we were to go a negative number here, it would put the, the offset inside the star, but that's not what we want. In this case, we want to go outside. And standard bleed is 0.25 inches. You can leave those at what they are and say, okay. So now we have our bleed. And because our bleed is bigger than our star, now we also want to make our artboard bigger so that when we export this, we don't have anything that gets cut off. So if you, if you go into wireframe view, now you can see both your stars are still there, um, but they're both the same color, so you can only see one right now. So we're going to select our inside star, and then we're going to select our stroke, or you can also do that up here by toggling between those. Now I've got my color pre-saved, but I'm going to show you how to make one from scratch. So we have our stroke selected. You're going to click on the color palette, which can also be found in window. And we're going to click on, actually first we're going to color our stroke magenta, 100% magenta. And then we're going to click new swatch. In here, we're going to name this color under swatch name, cut contour, spelled exactly like that with the capital C's and the no space. Then we're going to select spot color. Make sure that it's still at 100% magenta and zero on all the other values and press OK. You now have created your cut line. Um, now what I do is I save it to my library so that no matter what file I open, I always have access to that color and my library is taking a while to load here and of course now that i'm doing this it's not going to show me but normally i have all my library colors show up in here and the spot color is one of them so all i have to do is click it and it will show up to that color the last thing that you want to do is with that selected you want to go to your stroke properties and select 0.25. And I believe there are a few other ways or other um, values that you can put in there, but that's the one that I was told works and it's always worked for me, so that's what I use. Your last step is now to save this as a PDF or an EPS. And I don't believe that any other, um, any other file extension will work here. So that is how you create your cut contour line for a Roland printer and how you add a cut line and bleed to a shape. Thanks for watching.